Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Douse. Uh, in this lesson, I'm going to go over complementary and supplementary angles. Um, this is an example of complementary angles, and this is an example of supplementary angles. Uh, but you don't know what that means, so I'm going to go over the, de the definitions. Complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So right here, I've got an example. If I were to take 40 plus 50, that equals 90 degrees. So this is an example of a complementary angle. Uh, I also have supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So if I had 30 plus 150, that equals 180 degrees. Uh, this is also an example of a linear pair. Uh, but anyways, so I've got two words, complementary and supplementary. These two words are fairly long and they almost mean the same thing. So what is a simple way to remember that one is for adding up to 90 degrees and one's for adding up to 180 degrees? Well, I was taught this neat trick. If you were to draw a line down the C, you get a 9. If you compare it, with, if you put it next to the O, you get a 90. So complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. And then if you have supplementary, you connect the endpoints on the S, you get an 8 for 180 degrees. So that's a really neat, simple trick. If you were to uh, come across complementary angles or supplementary angles, just draw a line on the first letter, and I'll tell you what they add up to. So let's do a couple examples. Find x if these angles are complementary angles. So we're trying to find x here. So if these are complementary angles, I know that both of these need to add up to 90 degrees. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to set them equal to 90 degrees. If I take away 62 from both sides, I will be able to solve for x. So x is equal to 90 minus 62 is 28 degrees. So I know the x is 28 degrees. And now if I were to add these two up, 28 plus 62 in your calculator, you would get that those two equal 90 degrees. So 28 is the answer here. Uh, let's do the next problem. Find n and the missing angle. So I have two things to find. If these angles are complementary angles. Again, remember, complementary equals 90 degrees. So I know that these two, 34 plus 2n, equals 90 degrees. I'm going to do the same thing I did before, but we have one more step to do. And so if I take away 34 from both sides, I have 2n equals, let's see here, 90 minus 34 is 56. And my goal is to get n by itself. And I have n equals 28. So 28 degrees. So I know n equals 28 degrees. And I found n. Now I need to find the missing angle. If I plug 28 back into this equation here, I'm substituting for n as 28. I get 56. So I know that this whole angle equals 56 degrees. And we solved for that already up here. 2n equals 56. So it's not really fully necessary to do that. But again, the answer here is 56 degrees. If I took 34 plus 56, they need to add up to 90 degrees. And they do if you plug it in your calculator. So let's do a couple examples on supplementary angles and call it quits. Find x if these angles are supplementary angles. Well, if these are supplementary angles, then I know that these two need to add up to 180 degrees. So these supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. So I know x plus 107 equals 180 degrees. So subtract 107 from both sides. And if I do that, I'll be able to solve for x. x equals 73 degrees. So if I plug 73 into this equation, does 73 plus 107 equal 180? It does. So this is the correct answer right here. So this is this missing angle is 73 degrees. One more and we'll be done. So find y and the missing angles. Oops, should be angle. If these angles are supplementary angles. So again, these two angles need to add up to an equal 180 degrees. So I'm going to add them up and set them equal to 180 degrees. So again, I'm going to take away the number and I get, let's see here, 3y equals 120 and the last step is to divide. Generally the last step is always going to be divide. Um, y equals 40 degrees. So this should be the answer. So let's see here. We know 3y, 3y equals 120, so does 120 plus 60 equal 180? 
The answer is yes, it does. So we know the missing angle here is 120, and we found out that y is equal to 40. Well, hopefully this helps you understand that uh, complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90, and supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180. Have a good day, everybody.